I am subtweeting myself right now because I fell off. I fell the f off. But it's okay. It is okay because who doesn't? Who doesn't start a fitness journey that goes... You know what I mean? But here we are. We are starting all over again. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've recorded a video or talked to a camera. I've just been trying to come up with ideas and I just, my mind hasn't been working these past few months. So I really wanted to make a video that is going to help people pick up from where they left off right before quarantine. If you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling lost, if you don't know what the hell your next move is going to be, I got you. So in this video, I put together five tips that I think everybody will benefit from these tips have helped me in the past they're helping me right now get back into my fitness journey and just to feel good again if you lost your way and you're trying to figure out how to get back into your grind how to get back into fitness just keep on watching all right starting off with tip number one and i think this is the most crucial part of getting back into your fitness journey like so important Number one, lose the freaking regret. What happened in quarantine can stay the F in quarantine. We all messed up. We all ate like shit. I ate my body weight and snacks. I gained like 10 pounds. I'm not hating myself. I'm not hating myself. I gained weight. I have a little extra fluff. I have a double chin. It is okay. Lose the damn regret. Lose it. Let that shit go. Let it go. We all mess up. We were quarantined. We were stuck at home. What the hell do you expect? Honestly, what else is there to do besides eat? If you're watching this and you have stayed on track and you still feel like the best you, because I sure as hell have not. Am I ashamed? Am I feeling like embarrassed? Like I've had so much time and I should have been like on point? Yeah. So it is okay. Lose the regret. Don't think twice about your past because you are living right now. You can either think about everything you didn't do or think about what you have to do. This is gonna sound very, very weird, but I feel like the whole quarantine thing was like a sign. I feel like it was a moment in life that we all, literally the entire world needed to just take a step back, just think. And I know that can be scary. Trust me, I am an over thinker. I think way too much. I get inside my head. I make up stupid scenarios and whatever. But it truly, truly made me think about exactly what I want to do, what I want to be. And I feel like quarantine was just a time to like breathe. You know what I mean? Like take a step back, think about what you want, think about what is good for you and just focus on that. I know it was hard, the gyms were closed, trust me, I was crushed, I was heartbroken, but I've been thinking so much about it and like, I'm ready. I am so, so ready to put my best foot forward, to focus on me, block out any negative shit that tries coming into my life, that's it. Like I said, your past is in the past. You can feel sorry for yourself, you can look in the mirror, pick everything out that you don't like, or, you can look in the mirror and say, I don't like that, I can fix that. You gotta have that mindset where it's like, okay, I'm not happy, how can I be happy? Pick yourself back up and work freaking hard. Like, I am not kidding when I say work your ass off. Use all your mistakes as motivation to become better, to do better, to be a better person, and to just live a better life. Like I said, quarantine who? Quarantine who? That's all I gotta say. So moving on to tip number two. Create a plan, create a schedule, make a workout split, do everything you need to do to stay organized. I'm not kidding you when I say buying a planner was the best thing I've ever done. Being organized is going to make your life 10 times easier. Having a plan is always going to just steer you right into the direction you need to go. Create a workout split. Having a workout split not only is going to help target every single muscle group, but it's also going to help you reach your goals faster. I absolutely love switching up my workout splits. During quarantine, I have found out 
I have seen so many different ways of working out. I'm so excited to get back into the gym and just try new workout styles. So definitely create a workout split that is perfect for you, that is going to cater to your goals, what you need. Don't be following someone's workout split if you don't even like it. What's the point in that? Put yourself first. Put yourself first. Do yourself a favor. If you have an iPhone, you have the notes app, write it down. I literally write down every single workout. I even sometimes sit down and write out my workouts for a whole entire week. I'm not saying I did that during quarantine, but when the gym opens up, I will definitely be doing that. I love, love writing down my workouts. And also with the whole scheduling your workouts, make sure you're scheduling your workouts for a reasonable time. If you're not a morning person, do not tell yourself you're going to make it to the gym at six o'clock in the morning because will you? No. And then there's a workout that you just skipped. If you're a nighttime person, go to the gym at night. It doesn't matter what time you work out as long as you get it done. Give yourself a time that you will actually show up to. Working out isn't supposed to be a chore. You're supposed to enjoy it. Go at a time that you wanna go. Don't force yourself to do something you do not want to do. All right, moving on. Tip number three, find your balance. Have a happy medium. When your gym opens, don't be going every single day. Take it slow, maybe go three, four times a week. Slow starts, okay? Slowly but surely, you'll get there. Unless you wanna be waking up every single day, sore shit. Remember, your body took such a long break. Your body is not gonna be used to what you used to do. It is not gonna be as strong. You are going to have to take a step back, leave your ego at the door, and listen to your body. I know, I'm talking to myself right now. I am going to wanna hit every single machine. I'm gonna wanna lift every single weight there is possible but I know my body is not gonna like that in the morning. I am not gonna be able to get out of bed. So taking it slow and really focusing on key movements with allowing yourself to rest. Make sure you are giving yourself at least one to two days of rest. Like, I mean, complete rest. You're not lifting a single thing. If you wanna have an active rest day and go on a walk, Good for you. I'm not kidding when I say rest is the most important thing in your fitness journey. Like your body, one, ain't gonna grow if you're not resting it. You're gonna be sore, you might break something, it might hurt something. You, you just need rest, okay? You need rest, you need to breathe, you need to relax, and it's just good for the soul. You don't wanna jump right into it, going every single day to the point where you're exhausting yourself. I am all for pushing yourself past your limits, but there's a difference when you can't take it no more. Find your balance and understand that rest will truly be your best friend. Even though we wanna get back to where we were before quarantine, we won't. It's gonna take us some time, but it is okay. As long as we are starting, we're going at a good pace, you will get to where you were. We all need that balance of being, you know, a boss ass strong bitch and you know, just chill, just chill. Remember, chilling, even though that's the last thing we probably wanna do right now, it's okay to just chill, relax, and take it easy. So, moving on, tip number four, progress pictures. Let me tell you something. This is something that I never really thought about in the past, but the first time that I saw like my pictures side by side, from like my first progress picture to like maybe a month or two after, I was shook. The littlest progress, when you physically see it, when you have physical evidence, it will push you 10 times harder. When your gym first opens, take a picture of what you look like. It doesn't matter if you're feeling yourself. You don't gotta look cute. It's a progress picture. Take a picture and compare it to like maybe three weeks from then and you will see such a huge difference. You will never see how much you have progressed until you see it side by side. And that is motivation in itself. You will always be 
your biggest motivation. Even the smallest progress is going to show you how much farther you can go. If you keep working hard, if you keep staying consistent, if you're dedicated, you can get to where you want to be. And once you see that difference, I swear it will become addicting. It will be so easy to get into the gym because you know exactly where you wanna be and what you have to do to get there. It sounds crazy, but a picture can truly help you strive to become better and better. Use your insecurities that you hate, that you always pinpoint about yourself as freaking fuel. You don't like something? change it you're not happy with your workouts switch it up you don't like cardio don't freaking do it there is always room for change always you are you and everybody has a different game plan everybody has different goals the more you enjoy your workouts and the more you're enjoying seeing progress the easier it's going to be to reach all your goals and to stay consistent and to just have that motivation in you and with that being said, moving on to tip number five, setting freaking goals. Girl, you need to set some goals for yourself. It doesn't matter if you're setting a goal to wake up early or to literally finish a workout. A goal is a goal. And as soon as you accomplish one of your goals, it is going to feel so powerful. You are going to feel like you can do absolutely anything, which is so 100% true. You are capable of whatever you put your mind to. If you have a goal that you want to run a mile in two minutes, that's a little crazy. But if you have a goal that you want to run a mile in, let's say, five, six, seven minutes, whatever, as long as you are practicing and you are focusing solely on that goal and doing everything you have to do to achieve it, you will freaking accomplish it. And as soon as you do, you're going to look that goal in the face and be like... <laughs> Okay, what's next? Since the very beginning of my fitness journey, I have created several goals for myself. Little ones, big ones, and every single time, I could have cried as soon as I accomplished it. It is just a feeling you will never, ever forget. And to add on, make sure you are creating realistic goals, giving yourself a good amount of time to actually, you know, put the work into it. Don't be saying that you wanna lose 20 pounds by tomorrow because that's kind of impossible unless you're like starving yourself, I don't know. But make sure it's realistic and you're allowing yourself time to actually be able to achieve it. Because if you don't achieve it, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna hurt you, it's gonna crush you. So be realistic. You know yourself better than anybody. So write it down and go for it. And <laughs> speak your goals into existence, okay? Everyone always says, I don't wanna jinx it that speak it into existence say it out loud write it down scream it to the world let your dreams let your goals be known because i promise you you will always get what you deserve when you work for it if you expect yourself to do this this and that without even trying i'm sorry you're not getting anywhere if you're not trying if you're not giving everything you got what do you think you are going to accomplish? You can't just wake up one day and be a billionaire. You can't just wake up and be fit. You can't just, you have to work for it. Everything in life, you have got to work for it. I stand by that. I freaking stand by that. You are capable of anything you put your freaking mind to. You just gotta think positive and be your own damn hype man because not everyone is going to understand your mindset. Not everyone is going to understand that you wanna wake up early or you wanna skip something because you wanna go to the gym. Not everybody is gonna understand that. But as long as you block everybody else out, focus on you, know what you gotta do and do it, but you are going to accomplish so many things. You are the only one getting yourself up in the morning, choosing how your day starts and ends. You decide what and where you put your energy into. If you just solely focused on that one thing you want to achieve, you got it, you got it. Nobody's gonna do it for you. Nobody's gonna push you to go to the gym. Nobody's gonna control what you eat. Show up for yourself and make shit happen. You are always in control. Never forget that. You decide what you do, you decide what you don't wanna do, and you just keep working hard. All I gotta say is focus on the good, strive for freaking greatness because it's 2020. We are not accepting anything less.
I just want to say before I end this video, if you are watching this right now, this is a sign. You are exactly where you need to be. Just start living in the moment. Relax. It's okay. It's going to be okay. You will get back to where you were. You just have to be patient. Take it slow. Stop stressing. Stop worrying and just relax. You are going to get back into the gym. You are going to be your best self, look your best self. Hot Girl Summer isn't canceled. Let me tell you, a bitch is gonna show the up. I'm that bitch. <laughs> I'm that bitch. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I am trying so hard to get my mindset right and to break through the lack of motivation. But like I said, it is okay. We are exactly where we need to be. We're gonna focus on the good and we are just going to take it day by day. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.